Hey, welcome to another fun, fact-filled edition of the Two Old Farts. I'm Chuck. And I'm Lou, the better looking of the Two Old Farts. That is a damn dirty lie, and you know it. No. No, it's we true. We have a scientific test. Two. Your, grand, your granddaughters is not scientific. So, it's scientific. Okay. They wouldn't lie. So, do we? Did you? Do you have your script? Do you have your lines prepared of what we're going to do today? Yeah, I know what I'm going to say. What are we going to do? What the hell I want to say? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man, what a week it's been! Thank God it's Friday. Yep. End of the week, begin the weekend. Yep. So it's going to be all right. We just got to fight the heat. I know. Oh my God, it's been 100 degrees plus every day. We're going to break records. We're already breaking them. Yeah, we're number three of all time. And we only got like 10, 11 more to go to beat the all time record. The all time, all time record. <laughs> so, hey. But that's Texas. What did we do last night? Where'd we go? Hey, we went to a good show. who did we go see? The old man, Johnny Mathis. Johnny Mathis. And how old is he? He's 86. 86. I thought 88. I don't know why he, I got 88. I don't He's know where he got 88 either. But he did pretty good. He did I, damn he good. Did a little, little moves there. Yeah, for 88. Yeah. He, His voice is really strong. Surprisingly, for someone as old as he is and been around as long as he is, uh, actually a pretty good show. It was a very good show. Yeah, and people got into it. I was watching the older couple next to us on to my right. Yeah. What she was really into it for was her clapping and stuff. And you you could just see the excitement, you know. So And I did my good deed for the day, right? Because I took their picture. Yep. Because they saw us taking selfies and stuff. Yeah. So they were like, can you take my picture? I'm like, heck yeah, I'll take your picture. <laughs> yeah, it was it was good. And there were some young folks there, too. Yeah, but they were all with their parents. Well, that's what it's supposed to be. When you're family, family takes care of family. You go put up with all the nonsense that they're and you gotta, the parents want. And you got to put up with us. <laughs> and we got to put up with y'all. But that's what family's all about, right? Fighting and bloodshed. That's right. More bloodshed <laughs> <laughs> the better the family, right? <laughs> but it was a good picture you took of you and your mom, though. I know, and she let me take it. Yeah, and she hates me. cameras. Oh my goodness, she hates cameras. Yeah. But she was a good sport. Yeah, she enjoyed it too. It was, uh, it was a good show. Uh, better than I thought. Well, I'm gonna say that. I don't think you really knew what to expect. But uh, some of the songs I remember, right? Uh, uh, some of them, yeah. I remember more of the country songs. I don't know if he sang country, but some of the songs that kind of transitioned over to the country, like the country top 40 stations were right. playing his music, but he didn't really play those things. He played a lot of the, the sh not really show tunes, but uh, like the, he, he played, the standards, the kind of Frank Sinatra kind of a thing. No, that, I think he played to the San Antonio market, which is predominantly a, a Hispanic. Market. Yeah. Well, he, of, he is very known for um, Spanish and um, Brazilian type beats, right. which he had a lot of that going on. Right. Yeah. And what I really liked about it, he brought back a lot of the moves, you know, with the hands in the pockets and, and the, you know, the one hand and, in the hip, uh, the pockets, yep. and stuff like that. And like they would back in the day when Sinatra and all those guys. Right, yeah. So. And he, ban the banter with the audience, and then his intermission, and he changed back into a tuxedo. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool. But yeah, he was he was tight. He had white pants, the white shoes, a white shirt with a green sport yeah. coat, and he had like a pocket square or something. Yeah. He, he looked he looked sharp. It was a good show. It was uh, fun, and uh, people enjoyed it. You you could tell they. The crowd was into it, and it was a pretty good crowd there. Uh, I, I thought it would be a sold out crowd, but it was pretty close, though. Yeah, pretty close. Uh, but it was, it was a good show, it was a fun show, and uh, it was a good evening all the way around. Uh, going to Guillermo's, uh, Guillermo's, yeah, for dinner. And yeah, out of the four of us, I was the only one that didn't see what w everybody else saw. What was that, man? <laughs> what, what did everybody see? <laughs> That was one of our little crawly friends on the wall there. Oh, and my goodness. And I, I saw it, but I, I, didn't, I said, if I say something, it may run the whole evening. So I just kind of watched it and make sure it didn't go in your mom's purse. <laughs> then Brenda spotted it. So I'm wondering if he came in from the kitchen, like underneath the plates or something. I, I don't think so. I think it's probably one of those wall deals, because you know, it was a, a small one. And it was a, well, a dark brown, like you see some of the bigger roaches and stuff. But uh, I, 
I think it probably came out of the roof because it came up from the bottom of the of the floor type thing. Okay. When I saw it first coming up, you know how the wood trimmed it around. That's where I first saw it coming up through that area. Yeah. So. Yeah. But anyway, that's we're in downtown San Antonio, right? And it's, it's a old, it's old building, so. I'll, I'll give them a little bit of grace. If I go back and I see another roach, then now I think we got yeah. a trend. Well, I, I may. So don't let that scare you off, people. Guillermo's is, is it's a very nice great restaurant. Food. Great food. Yeah. Uh, the staff is great. Uh, they have really good sandwiches, pizzas, a lot of pasta yeah, dishes. Good variety of salads. Yeah. yeah, there is a almost like I had a hard time picking what I wanted to eat. <laughs> yeah, and the waitress that we had, she was a really sweet young girl. Yeah, you she know? was. She's very, very attentive. She, it's just good service. And what I like also is it's very close to the Tobin Center. It's like, what, a quarter of a mile away? It's not far, but all the zigzag makes it a little bit longer with the construction and everything. Exactly. Yeah. But it's it's convenient. Yeah, it's good food. It's really close to the Tobin Center. And that's not our first time we've eaten there. No, it was, it was the second time or third time. But it was fun. You know, one of the things I liked about that facility is the murals on the walls with the depicting the history of, yeah, you know, and you had the picture of the uh, Central High Alamo School was right the, next to our table. Yeah. So it was nice. And they had a good crowd there. Nice. It was, was it Central High School or Central Catholic? Central Catholic. Central Catholic. Mm-hmm. Uh, an old high school. 1932. Yep. Uh, and that's 90 years old. Yep. 10 years, 2032, it'll be 100. Like well, you. Getting close. <laughs> <laughs> Could be worse, right? Oh, my God. We've been rambling, and we're just now coming up on seven minutes. What are we going to do for, like, another 20? I don't know. We're going to talk about some of your concerts you got coming we're up. Struggling. Let's just step on your shirt here. Oh, Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath, man. When, when, we got a little Bill Anderson. Well, yeah, we went to uh, we the, the, Braun Tex, the Braun Tex Theater in New Braunfels. Yep. What's the date on the back of my shirt? 2016. 2016. That's when I took Brenda and Mackenzie and some friends from work. We all went to go see Black Sabbath on the the end tour here in San Antonio. And this what San Antonio was the last stop here in America. And then I think they went down to Mexico and South America to finish. So who out. you got on your next on your next trip? Oh my goodness. Um, let me see. I hate using my phone because I can't really see anything. That's right. You like uh, your mom. Put your glasses on. Uh, she'll, she'll do this. Try to bring it up closer. I know I got something in August. Well, keep talking. Keep riffing, I man. Keep I don't riffing. think we have anything planned anytime soon. We got yes, to... yes, we do. We do. But I don't think it's on my calendar. We got... Uh... It was canceled and rescheduled. Um, Jason Bolin and the Stragglers. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's it. That's, that's in, August. in August, right? Well, yeah. You know, August is Monday, right? For some folks. For all folks. August well, starts on maybe. Monday. Some of us folks may make people. it a day later or something. I don't know. People. You know why I'm over here? Did y'all forget? Because since May... We have not been able to make a con- well. We can get the connection. He can hear me. He can see me. I can see him, but I can't hear him. And guess what? I haven't done anything to my stuff except <sighs> reset it. Guess whose computer we're using? I don't know. Mine. Well, whose were we using before? Mine. And guess what? When I was at home and you were here using your computer, I couldn't hear you. Maybe it was on your end. No, we've already established that. Because I, <laughs> I ladies and gentlemen, I brought my my no, computer here. No, no. It's in the dining room, and I did a test. And as soon as I was ready to like, hey, can you hear me? He walks out of the room. God knows where he went. I'm like, mom, what? Then go he goes, the, in, go then in the he goes into the bathroom and breaks my. Co- no, I did not break the chain on the, the chain. Toilet. No, you that Come was already back. broke when I got oh, here. Oh, yeah, I fixed it for you. Yeah, well, I did. It was working last time I was in there. You were the one that broke it. No, I had to go fishing for know. it. Your mom don't even let me go in there. I had to fish for it, man. That's exclusive for your mom. And guess she makes me go outside. I'm not a guest, I'm family. How 
I used to live here. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> That's probably what you're broken from when you left. <laughs> you bought this house in 83, Three, right? March of 83. In March of 86, I was gone. <laughs> I left. <laughs> Couldn't stand it any longer. The house rule was broken. <laughs> Smell the stinky feet and in, 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 uh, salsa. In, in my the rule room. was, if you're not home by midnight, you better not call. Yeah, you know why? Because every time <laughs> I didn't call, you'd get mad at me. So then I'm like, I'll beat them at their own game. I'll call after midnight to let them know, hey, I'm staying over here. And then you finally got fed up. And you're like, if you ain't home by midnight, you'll I'll just figure you're where you're at. <laughs> That's right. That's how you beat old folks at the game. <laughs> beat them at their own game. But those were fun times, huh? Oh, heck yeah. And still are. I'm blessed. Uh, we, uh, I can't see. Well, first of all, I don't have my reading glasses because I'm old. Let me see what I can see for September. September. Uh, what do I got? What do I got? Well, if you turn that screen around the other way where you can make it larger, it might work a little better. Ooh, guess what happens in September? College football. Oh, yeah. Wait. Say, I would, who do we open with? I don't know. I think we're open with. Uh, uh, hang on. So we got the Aggies on three September. Well, that's gonna be a game. I, I think your Jimbo Fisher got. Is that who we open game. up against? I don't know. Yeah. We can't get too much into college football because this is the two all farts out and about, and we're not out and about at football games. Well, we could be. Well, we ain't rich. If hey, y'all need to start listening in the thousands, so maybe we can make a couple of dollars. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we need them. I need them. We've been stuck at two hundred and fifteen all-time downloads for like three weeks now. Yeah, we have it. not had any movement on the needle. That's that's pretty sad. Yeah. Maybe they're trying to tell us something. Maybe they don't want to hear us anymore. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. No. People just been busy. They love us. Yeah. You sure? Yep. No doubt about it. Okay. What's not to love? I don't know. We're kind of old and ugly looking. That's true. So there it is. Utah State. Utah State on in September. So why am I? Maybe they haven't updated the schedule on this thing. Anyway, so we got Utah State a week later, then Texas, then Louisiana Monroe, Vandy. Arkansas, a and Tennessee. Wait a minute. That's not the third Sunday or third Saturday in October. No, that's Mississippi got away from that. You can't break tradition. That's what I said too, but money talks and all the other stuff walks. You need to smoke a cigar when they beat Tennessee. Yeah, oh man. Never have. Anyway, so, yes, I got concerts coming up. I just can't look at my, I, I, I do know, in the last couple of weeks, uh, a band called Amana Marth is coming to the Aztec Theater, and I was able to get VIP meet and greet. I'm going to get to be on stage and have my picture taken. Oh, wow. How neat. That is pretty neat. And then in November... I'm going to see Trivium, and I got the same kind of package deal. Oh, wow. And they're going to be at the Aztec. So I, I, am I going to need to send an ambulance out to hit Fury when we jump off the stage? No, nah, they won't let us up on stage up there. <laughs> uh, so November, I know for a fact, is a busy month. So I, in November, let's see, on the 3rd, the 3rd, I got Black Flag. Then the fifth is Trivium. Then on the 10th, Brenda and I are going to go see Belinda Carlisle at the Tobin Center. If, if y'all don't know who Belinda Carlisle is, she's the singer from the Go-Go's. Yes. Supposedly they've retired, but that's the next best thing. So we'll get to see her. And then on Saturday, the 12th, I'm going to go see Napalm Death with Brugeria. Frozen Soul and Millions of Dead Cops, NBC. That's on the 12th. And then on the 14th is a monomar with Carcass, Obituary, and Cattle Decapitation. Where do you get these names? I, I don't know. <laughs> but Obituary, 
They're from Florida. They've been around since like the mid 80s. Wow. Yeah. So they're like my age or older. So they're getting old too. Yeah. The sing it's a singer and a drummer. They're brothers. Uh huh. And that'll be my fourth or fifth time seeing them. How come I've never heard of these guys? Probably because you don't listen to that kind of music. <laughs> Probably. So yeah, yeah I thought it was pretty good though. So yeah, my yeah. my musical tastes range from Johnny Mathis all the way to Cattle Decapitation and Carcass. That's pretty wide range. That's yeah, pretty wide range. <laughs> everybody's like, that's what makes it fun, right? Well, it, it's even funnier at work because everybody's like, hey, who are you gonna go see this week, or you know, what's your next concert? And I'm like, why do y'all ask? Yeah. You're like, I don't know. We want to see know who you're gonna see. And I'm like, every time I tell you, you've never heard of these bands. <laughs> and then you ask, is Brenda gonna go with you? And yeah. I'm like, are you kidding me? You don't yeah. even know who it is. And it sounds like carcass and obituary and cattle decapitation. Do you, you think, think my Brenda's wife wants go? to go see that? <laughs> so yeah. I'm like, man, it's crazy. But she's a, she's a good wife. She's a Yeah, great, I'll, I'll I'll keep her for a little while. She's a great daughter in law. I'll keep her for yeah. a little bit. A lot of sense to keep her in your prayer. She just lost her father. Yeah. A really nice guy and a veteran in yep. the force. And yep. We actually served together and worked together at LACA. In fact, I think that's how y'all first met, right? Yeah. I, LACA, I had in, a swimming pool. In high school? Well, well, at the swimming pool. They had already moved off base. Yeah, but they're still in high school. Isn't it? Well, she was technically in middle school. Oh, uh, middle school. Okay. I was going into my freshman year of high school. But yeah, that was a long time ago. That was 1980, folks. That was 42 years ago. Hard just, to believe, right? Just let that sink in. Yeah. So you know you're talking two old farts now. Heck yeah. <laughs> so, but those were fun times. That's the one thing I miss about the military. You know, you make a lot of friends and uh, a lot of camaraderie. And, and then it's time to move and on. And then you move on. Find somebody else. And then you meet, meet some new friends. Yep. Yeah. Then you have all those memories later on. If you can remember, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, but you know, last night when you talk about Johnny Mathis, as long as he's been doing this, he's pretty much got that stuff probably since the fifties. Yeah, you were like impressed that he could remember all the songs. And you have to remember, sometimes when people not saying he has Alzheimer's or dementia, I'm just saying that when people do get it, they may not remember people, but they do remember things from their past. Right. And, and I'm sure as many times as he's been singing those songs. Yeah. Like, yeah, he'll, he'll probably he really did a good them. show. I was really pleased because it was, it was pretty expensive tickets for what we had. And well, yeah. Well, the, we had box seats. And then because it's the Tobin Center and you want box seats, oh, you're going to pay a box fee, box seat premium on right. top of that. But, you know, all of these convenience fees. Don't yeah, get me started on them. Just, you know, at 86, you bought it kind of. Slows down a little bit, but he had some pretty good moves there, uh, you know. And I was more impressed with how powerful his voice yes. was. So there was a couple of times early in the show when he would be walking across the stage and he would kind of lower his hand with his microphone, still singing, and I could hear it. Right. And I was thinking, maybe he's using a backing vocal track. And then he would finish singing, and he would talk to the audience. And sometimes he would drop his hand down again by his side as he was pacing, getting ready to sing. And you could hear him kind of like smacking his lips to clear mm -hmm. or dry his lips or the moisture on. And you could hear that with his hand in the microphone down by his yeah. side. And I'm like, if the microphone is picking up that, that is him singing. Yeah. 100%. He has such a wide range on his voice. Oh, yeah. I'm oh. telling you, it's powerful. Yeah. And at 86, to be able to sing like that. Hats off, man. Hats off. Yeah. So if you get a chance to go see him, you really need to do it. He's a, a really powerful person. And you know. if you want to go see some Viking heavy metal, go see him on a mark. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's what I'm going to see, didn't I? Well, I just I told you that. that. But why did I want to go see him? Because they sing cool Viking heavy metal. Oh, okay. Like their new song off their last album, Put Your Back Into the Oar. Like, row. <laughs> row. Row, you because you know the Vikings had the Viking wooden yeah. ships and they sailed across yeah. the Atlantic and supposedly they discovered America, right? Right, yeah. So, so well, while they're rowing, so you know, they had somebody beating the drum so they can all row in time with each other. All right, so now I have to go see. I can just pretend I, I, I don't know if you're ready for that. <laughs> I don't right. know. 
Because on that very same night, I was going to go see another band called Mac Sabbath. Not Black Sabbath, Mac Sabbath. So what's the connection? What is the connection? What's the first word? Mac. McDonald's. I thought you just so they're a, they're a gimmick band. So they dress up in the Ronald McDonald. The singer dresses up like Ronald McDonald. Uh, they got a guy dressed up like Mayor McCheese. Uh, Grimace plays the bass. Um, and the Hamburglar. They're all all the Mac all the McDonald's characters are in the band playing, and they sing songs set to Black Sabbath tune. But with McDonald's type lyrics, it's pretty big. That is, it's freaking crazy. <laughs> I'm not lying to you, people. I promise you, hand to heart. Go to YouTube, type in Mac M A C space Sabbath S A B B A T H, and just watch some videos <laughs> of Mac Sabbath. I may have to check that out just for about and, thirty seconds. And then check out some Amon Amar. Check out some obituary. Definitely check out some cattle decapitation. When you say a visual, I, I think you talk about me. Never mind. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe. But they're also a band, and they're pretty good. All right. For a bunch of old farts. Yes, they are. Almost all these bands I'm going to go see are a bunch of old farts. Yeah. They're old farts like me. Yeah, you know, and some of these guys, what, uh, what's his name? Uh, he's about 88 years old. Uh, not Johnny Mathis, right? No, we were talking about it last night. Oh, Mick Jagger. Yeah, he's up jumping around. He's still he's doing that in stuff. his eighties, Dad. He's seventy nine. Oh, seventy nine. That's right. He's the same age, just a year older than I am. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. <laughs> That's what makes it fun and aggravating. Good. Well, hopefully, people find us funny and humorous. If you don't watch them, we'll reach out and grab that ear. Which one? The one on the there's, no ear, there's, no, there's, no ear there's no earring. There's no earring in there. There's no there's no earring in there. Cross. There's no earring. No, I had it. It was a dangling skull. It wasn't a cross. Well, I did have a cross. You earring, had a cross at one But time. I also had a skull. Yeah. Yeah. I told you one time if I could reach in and grab, I'll rip that sucker out. Because I don't think. I but mom it. chilled you out because I think she gave me one of her diamond she earrings to buy wear it for you. No, or mom didn't buy me the skull. Allowed it to happen. Well, yeah. She covered for you, like when you go skip school and you write your note and leave it on the counter. And your did I leave it on the counter or leave it in my pocket? <laughs> no, you left it on the counter. Your mom found it on the table somewhere. She found it. Sometimes can't even write good notes. I forged her signature pretty darn good. <laughs> yeah. I forged it pretty good, but what good is skipping school writing the? The get out of jail free card and then leave in the evidence. Home where your mom can find it. I'm telling you folks, this boy is something else. No uh, wonder I got gray hair. <laughs> or whatever she would find in my pants pockets the next day. <laughs> it's not my mom. I'm holding it for a friend. <laughs> yeah. Or go to the gas station, kick it, get out. Oh, we don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> That's a story for another time. But hey, guess what? We're at 23 minutes. All right. Man, we've barely got through five or six, and we're sailing on. <laughs> but, yeah, there's a lot of concerts coming up. I can't remember the date, but it is in August. We're going to go see um, God, I can't Jason Bowling. Jason Bowling and his yeah. See, yeah. my memory's going. Yeah. And that's, that, that's one I do show. like me some Jason Bowling and his yeah, I do, too. Oh, hey, guess who um, popped up on my radar is going to be at Floors in December? Who's that? Austin Meat. All right. You want to go check him out again? Uh, absolutely. All I right. like him. That was a good show. I was surprised. A lot of young folks. Yeah. Not a lot of old parts. You know, between Floors and uh, you brought for the... Uh, the Brontex? Well, not the Brontex, but... Uh, oh, Green. Green Hall. I like Green Hall. I like the nostalgia. But not but, in the summertime. It's hot as hell. Oh, man. That was... <laughs> you should have seen him out there tearing off a piece of cardboard paper from a... In the beer bottle holder. We already talked about this on the last episode. Keep himself cool. We already talked about that. <laughs> I'm going to embarrass you some more. Well, then, if you want, if you really want to pile on, tell them about last night when you came into the house before we went to the concert. It was it you or mom that said I had the temperature set like a menopausal old woman? That was your mom. 
She's the one that said that, not me. Y'all were freezing when you came in the house. <laughs> I got mine set on 80. I got mine set at 73. So I got a fan blowing, then, then your mom comes in and she turns on the ceiling fan. She said, and then she turns it down a couple of degrees. It'll kill me. I'll be breaking out my jacket here in a few minutes. But they walk around the house with sweatshirts and blankets, and then they get hot, won't take off the sweatshirt, won't take off the blanket, and then they turn on the ceiling fan on top of the air conditioning. That's what it is. You're calling me menopausal? When you get old, you can do what the hell you want. Heck yeah, I'm paying that electric bill. <laughs> that's right. It's your, I'm your, the one that's going to crash control, the electrical right? grid here in Texas. <laughs> it ain't going to be anybody. It's going to be me. That's what life's all about. When you get old, you make the money. You make the rules. Isn't that the sometimes, golden rule? Sometimes. Do you who has the gold makes the rules? <laughs> no, your mom makes the rules. I know. Brenda, too. I get to make the rules if she tells me I can make the rules. <laughs> and you only break them when you see the nod or the look in the eye. Otherwise, you better not touch it. You know who never caught that? Is Mackenzie. She, if you give her the look, she doesn't know. <laughs> if you give her that little pinch, you know, like your parents would do, She's like, like ah, you better. You yeah, me. She's like, ah, you pinch me. <laughs> She never got it <laughs> to this day. Still ain't got it. You didn't teach her well. Either that or she's just stubborn like a Corbett. <laughs> she's just stubborn like just a right. Corbett. The typical Corbett. But anyway. Hey, how many minutes is that? Is that 26? That's 26. 26, 26 and a half. So we, we can probably all wrap it up. We don't want to break 30 minutes because Aunt Carolyn said do not go over 30 minutes. Yeah, we got to get some. You guys got to tune in and give us some feedback. Let us know. Yeah. Yep. Give us some subjects you want us to talk about. Or, or find somebody and make them listen. Yeah. Make them listen. Give them a dollar and say, listen. Yeah, and then send the bill to him. And I'll send it to him. And I'll send it to her. <laughs> and she'll deny it. So, Aunt Carolyn, if you're out there listening, grab some of your friends and make them listen to us. Yeah. Tell them we're funny. And then leave town. And all of our family there in uh, Phoenix City, Fort Mitchell, Seal, and all that sound area. And all and that, mom's extended family up in Michigan, and the Charbonneaus and the boys. And that country boy, Eddie, guy down at uh, Warrior, Alabama. Well, his family, yeah. Yeah. And um, then from that Nashville town, Auburn, Alabama, we got your. We got Aunt Marsha and uh, Christy and Buddy yeah. and, and their kids. Um, we got cousins yeah. out in California. Yeah. So get your hippie friends to listen to. Yeah. And one of them birthday today, or their, their father's birthday today, Brent. Brent, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uncle they, Brent, yeah, he's been he's been gone a long time. Yes, he has. But, uh, so he, Shannon, Brooke, if you're listening, if you're not listening, I'm gonna get listening. I'm gonna get you on Facebook and make you listen. There you go. And tell your friends, yep. lie to them if you have to, because we've been stuck at 215 all time downloads for a long, long time. Yeah, we need at least 251, right? I want to get to 500 now. That's our Full. goal. Let's get to 250. Then we'll get to 500. Oh, well, we got 250 already, right? I said 215. Oh, two, I one, said 251. Five. That's because you're deaf. <laughs> Fix your hearing aids, old man. Or something. Look, you got hearing aids and headphones on, and you still can't hear me. Well, that's because you speak so loud that it vibrates. Oh, you're killing me small. <laughs> All right. We're coming up on 29 minutes. It's about time to wrap it up because we're rambling and being stupid. That's what the two of us do. That is what we do. That's and what, what we, we do, do best. That's what makes it fun. So, hey, thank you all for listening. Uh, again, please help spread the word. If you, if you find us funny, if you don't, let us know. Either way, we want to hear from you. And we want to do better. Absolutely. And have a good weekend. Yes. From the two old farts. I'm Chuck. I'm Lou. I'm the better looking of the two old farts. It's official. Okay. Call Brenda. Ask her. Call McKenzie. Call Jordan. I'm going to tell you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Have a good weekend.